Hello world, double thumbs here. So I've been playing with the DJI Pocket 2 for about a week now, and it is a great little camera, but <laughs> the reason I was contemplating whether to get this camera or not was the fact that I own the original Osmo Pocket, which can do almost the same thing. But in the end, I ended up getting the Pocket 2 because of two things. One was the field of view and the audio, which I talked about in my previous video. And the second reason is the low light videos. And the Pocket 2 has a one divided by 1.7 inch sensor with the f1.8 lens, which should be better than the Osmo Pocket's f2 lens on a one divided by 2.3 inch sensor, which is a smaller sensor. So if physics can be trusted, the Pocket 2 should have a better low light video compared to the Osmo Pocket with the smaller sensor and a darker lens. Is that the case? Let's go find out. So for the Pocket 2, I found that the maximum ISO was limited to 1600 for the Cinelike and 6400 for normal color, whereas the Osmo Pocket has a max ISO of 3200 in both the Cinelike and in normal colors. And this is the main reason why the Pocket 2's footage is darker in very low light situations if you're using the Cinelike. The Cinelike is always going to be a bit darker because of the max ISO being much lower. So in extreme low light situations, you might have to use your normal color instead of the Cinelike to bump up the max ISO so you won't just have a black screen where you can't see anything because it's so dark. So I've been using the d light color and auto exposure on the Osmo Pocket for the last two years and it's been working fine, but it sounds like the Pocket 2 needs a different approach. But in decent amount of lighting, the Pocket 2's videos tend to look more pleasing to look at or better and definitely less grainy compared to the Osmo Pocket's videos. So overall, the Pocket 2's low light performance is better than the Osmo Pocket, but by how much, that's up to you to decide you saw those videos. I personally think it is worth getting if you're getting your first Osmo Pocket or Pocket, but if you're upgrading from the Osmo Pocket to the Pocket 2, you'll notice a difference, but it might not be as big as you think. And the last thing I notice is the difference in colors. And in this footage, the exposure is exactly the same in both the Cine like profile, but the colors tend to look different. And I'll look into that in my next video. So if you found this video helpful, give this video a single thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel, which is always appreciated. And until next time, bam.